What's going on, everyone? Badger here. Should have liked and sub, and let's get into this. Uh, I believe we very briefly covered this in a stream the other day, but this is a bit more in depth. That uh, this is exactly what needs to happen is people in the know, people with authority, and people who have actually been there need to call this out. We can do it all day long, and yeah, people are starting to realize that the energy is changing, the mood is changing, people are getting tired of it. But it would be going so much quicker if these industry veterans were saying the same things we're saying like John Musker. And if you want, who is John Musker? Well, it's the animated filmmaker known for writing and directing The Great Mouse Detective, Little Mermaid, Aladdin, Hercules, Treasure Planet, The Princess and the Frog, there's your black princess, and Moana. So, clearly been involved with uh, DEI, or at least uh, progressive projects with The Princess and the Frog and Moana, and no one had any problem with that. So clearly there is a way to do it, to have representation, diversity, and inclusion while not pissing and turning off every single other person. Uh, and that's what we need to get back to. Uh, recently, Bob Iger, when he lamented the overt messaging in Disney uh, productions attending the Animeo International Summit in Gran Canaria, Spain. John Musker told the Spanish outlet El Pais that Disney should put the messaging secondary behind entertainment and compelling story and engaging characters. Yeah, if you just had entertainment and compelling story and engaging characters, oh boy. Uh, Disney's Bob Iger was quoted last year, December saying that creators at Disney have lost sight of what their job should be entertained first, not messages, even though he's been complicit with all the messaging. Uh, and he added that the stories infused with positive messages for the world can be great, that it shouldn't be the primary job. Now, Aladdin writer and director John Musker added his voice in an apparent <clears throat> disapproval of woke culture at Disney when discussing his involvement in the 2009 update of The Princess and the Frog, Aladdin writer and director John Musker said, We weren't trying to be woke, although I understand the criticism. The classic Disney films didn't start out trying to have a message. They wanted you to get involved in the characters and the story and the world. And I think that's still the heart of it. You don't have to exclude agendas, but you have to first create characters who you sympathize with and who are compelling. I think they need to do a course correction a bit in the terms of putting the message secondary or thirdly or fourthly uh, behind entertainment and compelling story and engaging characters. Yes, that's what we've been saying entirely. You can have the message, but it you can't cheat your way to it. You have to have compelling characters that you give a shit about first. Uh, the good news is that the more people involved with Disney are starting to recognize that woke culture with overt political and degenerate agendas is responsible for the string of failures produced by Disney. A course correction would be a start. But Disney needs more than a course correction from putting the message secondary behind entertainment and compelling story and engaging characters. The deeper issue is the kind of messaging uh, that Disney sends, and so far there is no indication that either Bob Iger or Aladdin writer and director John Musker is willing to address it. Um, yeah, well, that is unfortunately a thing. Uh, Disney needs to acknowledge that boys are boys and girls are girls. They're not what grown-up LGBTQ groomers wish them to be. Then Disney needs to acknowledge the boys will be boys and the girls will be girls. They're not what miserable feminist cat ladies wish them to be. Girls want to be princesses rescued by handsome prince and boys want to rescue princesses. That was the formula for just about every single fairy tale that Disney used and made adaptions of. Uh, one of my favorite movies of Disney, and still is, is Sleeping Beauty. What character do you think I identified with? I'll stop you right there. It wasn't the fucking princess. It was the prince. And, of course, his homie, uh, the horse, uh, they were rescuing the princess and fighting the dragon because that's what little boys wanted to do. We were raised in an age of heroes on screen and in the real world in some cases. Uh, and we wanted to grow up to be those heroes. You don't see that. All of those heroes that we grew up with have been systematically destroyed, starting with Luke Skywalker, Indiana Jones, Han Solo, all made in pathetic old either drunkards or incels or whatever. Uh, and, and who's left? Who do they have to replace us? Shooty Gatwa, Nurse What? Yeah, yeah. That's the replacement, the great replacement there. And also uh, Disney specifically paying for the trans... Uh, uh, transitioning of children uh, of the employees and their employees transitioning of children, but then not 
the reverse, ignoring the Chloe Coles of the world, the detransitioners, and uh, yeah, ugging up of all their characters, uh, the, 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 the men playing women and vice versa. And I don't mean in the suit. I mean full-on men with mustaches being fairy godmothers. It's batshit crazy over at Disney. It really is. It is a woke mind virus, and it has spread rampant. And even though we're starting to see pushback, it is nowhere near the pro, uh, the pushback that we need. Um, Disney prioritizing entertainment and compelling storylines and engaging characters is certainly a step in the right direction. But where John Musker and Bob Iger, for that matter, fall short in the belief that you don't have to exclude agendas. And considering that he wrote a 2009 adaptation of The Princess, uh, the Frog Princess by the uh, Brothers Grimm, The Princess and the Frog, in which the princess was race swapped. It is hardly, it is hard to ascribe his statement to mere naivety when exactly, but that's what exactly uh, Disney's agenda is. It appears that John Musker and Bob Iger are like thieves who aren't sorry that they stole. They're only sorry about having been caught out. It reeks of damage control, is far beyond any ability to control this. Let us know in the comments what you think about Musker's latest statements. Yeah, I think. It probably is, uh, that is a traditional progressive who just thought they were truly updating it for a modern audience. And uh, I don't really remember a whole bunch of backlash uh, backlash to Princess and the Frog, Princess Tiana, although I, I definitely remember it not being as popular as all the other ones and just not being embraced. And that's probably why it bothered them. And they were like, well, fine, we'll just turn all of Splash Mountain into a bayou attraction, even though there's no mountains in bayous. And that was a whole nother video of how that's, a big fail. So a lot of fails going around, but at least some people are calling it out. Let me know what you think of this. Make sure to like, share, and sub. If you have done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. And well, well, bye.